what is up guys welcome back to the channel and to another roundup episode keeping you up to date on all the latest news and rumors and we are talking all the latest following smackdown live and monday night raw this week and as we head into the royal rumble in the new year there's certainly a lot to talk about so let's get right to it and i want to start off discussing what a new storyline that wwe was doing but seems to be dropping so Lars sullivan is going to be a major threat in wwe and it looks like he will be a freak no matter which brand he ends up going to with wwe's new era and Lars sullivan now being a part of such a big class of call-ups it seems that wwe dropped the Lars sullivan angle that we were seeing on television for over a month so wwe has set an angle where both monday night raw and smackdown live would be bargaining for Lars sullivan and trying to win him over but it looks like with vince mcmahon announcement that angle is out of the window the storyline depicting Lars sullivan as a free agent is not being pushed anymore instead they just got to a promo package of all the incoming call-ups so in a sense it's been taking the spotlight away from the monster freak Lars Sullivan being the only call-up that everybody's interested in this is disappointing for Lars Sullivan and he actually ended up deleting an angry tweet about going from a standout call-up to just one of six so overall it looks like with this new regime WWE had to make the difficult choice of just including Lars Sullivan as one of the six guys that are gonna get called up to the main roster in the near future regardless though Lars Sullivan is still set to receive a massive push once he is in the main roster the only issue is that now he just might show up wherever it is that WWE wants without any of the authority figures actually fighting for him and if you think about it it wouldn't even make sense for them to fight over him simply because the same authority figures are managing both shows and there's no split of power streams struggle moving on to some other news and someone we've been talking about lately a lot that is mustafa ali as he ended up debuting on wwe smackdown live as the heart of 205 live he seems to have jumped straight to the top of the car as well and just recently he had an interesting interaction with shelton benjamin and this interaction was discussed by pw torch as they indicated the following i'm assuming that they did this because shelton benjamin as a heel is going to end up turning almost Mustafa Ali at some point and then this will move Ali down the car after having beaten Daniel Bryan and Andrade Cien Almas now of course this is just early speculation but it does look like WWE is going to be heading that direction where after Mustafa Ali is done with Daniel Bryan and Andrade Cien Almas he's going to go on and feud with Shelton Benjamin now this might seem as a demotion but it's not necessarily that instead it is a good thing because clearly WWE has plans for him and let's be honest he's not gonna win the wwe championship against daniel bryan anytime soon this just happened to be the feud that wwe decided to involve him in and now that he got that momentum they just gotta keep it going by having him in constant feud that he is able to win and move on while we get to see his rise in smackdown live for longer so overall it's always a good thing when wwe at least have some type of plan for new superstars moving on to some other news so this week on monday night raw christmas eve edition we ended up seeing ronda rousey successfully defending her wwe raw women's championship against natalia natalia earned the right to face ronda for the title by winning a number one contenders gauntlet match on last week's show the match between the two received positive reviews from the fans and during the last edition of the wrestling whatever radio dave mouse ended up talking about the match and very surprisingly he ended up revealing that the entire match was not rehearsed and was called on the fly in the ring Dave Meltzer noted that Natalia competed in the gauntlet match earlier in the evening and with the Christmas Eve edition being taped right after last week's show Natalia and Ronda Rousey decided to call the match on the fly and as we saw this week on Monday Night Raw Ronda Rousey defeated Natalia via her armbar finisher to retain the Raw Women's Championship so basically if you ever had any doubt about Ronda Rousey and how much she has improved on just the first year of being in the WWE this is a great representation of how good she has become now granted we are talking about natalia who can literally step in the ring and call a match with anybody because that's how much of a good wrestler she is and how much of experience she got so clearly she was able to walk ronda rousey through it but at the same time ronda rousey was able to keep up showcasing how good or even decent she is in the ring on just her first year after just a couple of matches and sticking to monday night raw we ended 
ended up getting interesting announcement by Vince McMahon as Santa Claus. First one being of course that WWE is gonna be introducing women's tag team titles in the near future. Now we don't know when exactly this is going to happen but we do got Wrestlemania coming up in a couple of months and probably that's where we're gonna get the official reveal of it and maybe we get some type of tournament that ends up crowning these champions at Wrestlemania. It was also announced that we're getting Dove Ziggler versus Drew McIntyre in a steel cage match next week and another of the biggest announcement was the fact that Vince McMahon revealed that John Cena will be returning to WWE TV soon and it was actually specified that he will be returning to Raw and SmackDown Live television next week. Now there's a lot of speculations right now what exactly John Cena is going to be doing as his status for the Royal Rumble is not necessarily looking too good. So the Royal Rumble is on January 27 and reports coming from the Wrestling Observer indicates that John Cena will start filming for a new movie starting January 20 so that technically rules him out of a Royal Rumble appearance. That is of course unless he ended up working something out with Hollywood and this new contract movie where maybe he is gonna be allowed to at least wrestle once while filming the movie. And considering we are in the new era of the WWE, I wouldn't put it past them for actually have something planned for John Cena just cause technically they always do and I mean he is gonna be returning to television two nights in a row so it feels like we are gonna get something planned out for John Cena or at least tease as we head into the Wrestlemania season. Moving on to some other news so regarding Drew McIntyre push being slowed down in recent weeks it was simply indicated by the Wrestling Observer newsletter that Drew McIntyre is still set to receive a massive push heading into Wrestlemania but that this month right now WWE is trying to set some momentum for Finn Balor and then next month is for Drew and no months are for Dove Ziggler probably. That last part obviously hurts me to say because I am a Dove Ziggler mark but at least it's good to hear that WWE is not dropping Drew McIntyre's push but instead at the same time they trying to give one to Finn Balor and here's an idea how about you writers start feuding these two together and give them their own separate feud so that they could be winning both of those feuds and getting both elevated at the same time because it doesn't make sense to be doing the 50-50 booking if you're gonna push both of these guys anyways go all the way out have them decimate somebody else that you don't want to be focusing on every single week and the last piece of news that i got for you guys is in regards to something that we saw on smackdown live this week that wasn't part of the spoilers because it was a backstage segment where we saw aj styles assaulting vince mcmahon to end smackdown live so after russo became the new wwe united states champion aj styles ran into vince mcmahon backstage it was interesting how they had a poster of the rock position in between the two of them as they spoke which could be a teaser but who knows regardless vince mcmahon said he knows aj has a black hole inside of him and he wants him to harness it he said there was an animal inside aj styles and it was eating him alive vince mcmahon said that he wanted to see the animal then he slapped the phenomenal one out of nowhere which then suddenly aj styles laid a forearm into vince mcmahon's head and sent the chairman to the floor it didn't take long for officials to break it up and send aj styles along his way when someone asked vin if he was okay vince ended up saying yes i'm good i think i'm good which he said it with a smirk on his face so it is clear that this is something that vince mcmahon is not necessarily going to be pissed about next week instead it is something that he is enjoying because he wants aj styles to bring out that aggression and this could be the beginning of a master plan for vince mcmahon where ultimately he is the reason why aj styles become dark and heal so in the coming weeks we are supposed to see a new leaf on aj styles character and it should be interesting heading into the royal rumble and even wrestlemania itself and off the book i'm gonna make a quick prediction here seeing this promo play out on smackdown live and vince mcmahon trying to harness aj styles darkness just gave me the vibe of aj styles going against undertaker at wrestlemania nonetheless you savages that's what i got for you on this roundup episode i hope that you guys enjoy or found this informative if you did make sure to elbow drop it let's try to go for 300 and plus likes and make sure to turn on those notifications if you haven't just yet to be fully up to date on all the latest we got a lot coming up including a new series as we head into the royal rumble and wrestlemania so stay tuned for that and of course we will continue covering all the latest and the roundup we're in the road to 100k 
100,000 subscribers. Macam tu, tiaw. Dig it.